Hey you beautiful people welcome back to a new video on our channel read travel become in this video i am going to share five very short fiction books that you can finish in literally one sitting what happens is you want to read these good fiction books you pick up these books but the length of the book intimidates you when you see these fat books you don't want to read it because it's too much of a task so in this video in the books which i'm going to share with you guys all of these books are very very short reads they are less than 150 pages some of them are even less than 100 pages but the striking feature here in this video is that all of these books are just not stories they are just, just not feel good fiction books or short stories these books are powerful storytelling elements they are powerful narratives like if you want to feel that you are reading really good literature then this video is for you you have to make sure that you watch the video till the end you may never know which thought or fact may resonate with you and change the course of your life so let's get started okay so the first recommendation is actually a japanese novel it's a very very short book it's less than 150 pages the book is called tokyo uino station it's written by a japanese author called yui miri this book is a very very popular japanese book it has got a bunch of national awards and stuff now what is great about the book is that the plot of the book is actually a social commentary on japanese geopolitical situations now let me tell you the story the story is about a man this man is a homeless man and the striking feature here is that he's a ghost he's a spirit the spirit is haunting a specific tokyo station one of the busiest tokyo stations there's a park near the station and the spirit is just wandering around here the spirit when it was alive he was a homeless person nobody paid attention to him and all of his life he struggled a lot now the book is talking about his hardships through a lens of important japanese events like the, the book has talked about the tsunami which came in 2011 the tokyo olympics which happened in 2020 all of these things are discussed not only this the story of this particular homeless person the spirit this ghost is also intricately tied to a thread by an imperial family so the book is also trying to show you the difference between the high families the high royal royal families and the poor families and the neglected families and the difference between the socio economic difference between the two types of people so it's a very strong commentary it's a sad book but because it's written in the form of a story it's very very short to read there's a lot of things going on in the novel but somehow you'll feel there's still a certain calmness there is a certain sense of melancholy which is going through the book i love these kind of books because authors are using different storytelling elements what they are using is they are not talking directly about the problems that people have they are using storytelling elements they are setting up fantastical elements and then trying to explain those things through this it's it's almost like a metaphor i love these kind of books if you guys have read uh, seven moons of mali almeida which is like a book which had won the booker prize it is a very similar essence um, seven moons was about sri lanka and this book is about japan so if you want to read ki these kind of literature this book would be a great starting point and because it's a very very short read you would be able to finish it very very quickly okay so the next fun story is actually a sequel the reason i'm recommending the sequel because because i have recommended the first part a lot of times the sequel is the restaurant at the end of the universe this book is a laugh riot it has got these quirky it's got these humorous elements if you have read hitchhikers not many of the people who have read hitchhikers know that there are four more books after the first book and this is one book which i absolutely like i really have a hard copy as well for this particular one because i really love the whole concept of the restaurant at the end of the universe and the events which happen to the gang to ford prefect to author dent to marvel in all of the characters love this book if you are into science fiction and want to read it in a very quirky way then this book is for you next on the list is again a very very important fiction read the story is so strong the story will suck you into it so bad that you would be staying with the story for some time it's it's again a very very meta commentary about dystopia and utopia it's almost orwellian in nature what i mean by orwellian is that george orwell who wrote 1984 always imagined a dystopian future and again he used storytelling elements he used characters which are sad characters who are differently thinking about the world depicting the problems of the society this book is called the giver uh, this is the cover of the book it's written by louis lowry and again this is one of the most important books uh, to be read uh, especially in america i got this recommendation from a friend and i also got to know about this book from one of my professors uh, he was telling me the how american kids are made to read this book very early on in their education uh, i'll tell you about the book the book is talking about fictional utopia where people are just doing what they know there are certain classes of people which have been predefined you have to do a certain task as soon as you are born so there's a guy called jonas he is 11 years old he's having a great life he is 
enjoying the prosperity around him because he has limited knowledge about the world none of the people know what past is none of the people know about worldly uh, knowledge none of the people know about books it's just a very secure society it's like a bubble now what happens is this jonas guy when he turns 12 there is a ceremony for every child who turns 12 during this ceremony they are given their jobs which they have to do for the rest of their life but this jonas guy has a different proposition he gets a different task he is contacted by the giver who was once a receiver now jonas becomes the receiver by receiver we mean that this person knows what pain is what joy is what history is what books is he basically knows the entire experience of humanity the giver transfers this to jonas during his training there are certain rules around it what happens next forms the crux of the book it may sound philosophical but because it's written in such a strong storytelling format the world building is amazing again very very short book this is the length of the book you, you can literally finish this in a couple of hours again very strong storytelling elements uh, you would get the feel of Dostoevsky or George Orwell you know reading those kind of account of Monte Cristo and you know tale of two cities all those kinds of heavy literature I personally believe that what happens is when you pick up classics they are written during their times they are very very relevant they are very very popular and inspiring because if we consider the time in which they were written they are they were strongly resonating what was happening around it all of the classic novels were basically a commentary on the society and these kind of books actually make you think as well about these things it's just a story but because of the story you are hooked onto it you are going with the characters you are treading in the shoes of the character you are empathizing with the character but also getting to know the socio-economic conditions so again a very powerful book let me know in the comment section if you guys have read it yeah let's continue with the next book next book on the list is a book version of the movie 2001 a space odyssey these days a lot of things are going on about ai a lot of things are going about going on about artificial intelligence machine learning how basically a machine learns how basically a machine thinks and how computational power has increased the open ai engine being open source not all of those things are going on think about this the movie 2001 space odyssey which was released in the 1960s that movie when even the internet was not invented forget mobile phones forget a laptop forget computing power even the internet did not exist but this movie had talked about one special robot one special entity one special ai which was handling the entire ship uh it's the adapted version of the movie if you have seen the movie stanley kubik's iconic movie 2001 a space odyssey this is an adaptation of that uh, i've read it i've seen the movie also i love the movie it's like a, an all-time classic but if you try to read the book as well it's equally interesting it was based on a short story written by arthur clark uh, this is a stylized version of the book this is like an adapted version of the movie it's like a reverse thing so it was a short story then they made a movie out of it and now this is a book which is the third part if you are into these kind of things if you want to understand how visionary arthur clark's mind was how ahead he thought of his time if you want to see how ai initially was thought about and try to map out the differences between the current state of open ai and what ai was imagined by these science fiction writers then this book is for you and the last book on this list is fahrenheit 451 by ray bradbury again a short book which you can finish in a day very strong storytelling concept uh, the story of the book is about a guy his name is guy montag he is a fireman and this is again a dystopian society it's set in a dystopian society this guy is supposed to burn everything which has knowledge in it he's supposed to burn all the books he always goes to these buildings which are carrying books and they all burn down these buildings he meets a lady who has some knowledge about the outside world who has read some books who is secret secretly hiding books and that kind of ideates in his mind there's a kida in his mind now to find out about what books are what knowledge is how to think critically and how the society is banning free speech how the society is banning free thinking all of these complicated concepts when they are condensed down and explained in the form of a story you better resonate with it so this is again one such case for those of you who don't know fahrenheit 451 it's called 451 because 451 is the temperature at which, at, at which paper burns that's why it's called burning knowledge the dichotomy of burning knowledge in a society which wants to progress something like that this is the crux, crux of the book classic book very easy to read uh, very easy to finish and very short so that was the list guys let me know in the comment section if you guys have read any of these books and also let me know in the comment section what more recommendations you guys want thank you so much for watching the video please please subscribe to the channel for some reason a lot of the viewers who are watching this channel are not subscribed so if you can subscribe that is a great indicator for me to work hard and put up more such quality content read quality books and recommend quality books so yeah that's all for this video see you in the next one bye bye